Subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. What we are trying to do might be local in its context. It's not parochial. It's uh, rooted in a specific cultural context. But the standards are international. You know, because we work with so many collaborators from outside of India. Like we've done so much of a post in Germany. A Polish DP shot the film. And I have always been like, there should never be a point where people feel oh, we are working with, you know, oh, uh, Indian film industry professionals or, oh, this is the Indian way of doing it. Like, there should be absolutely no scope for that. We have to prove ourselves to be not even, like, at the same level, but even better. The fact that we not only had a you know, successful premiere from the DCP working and subtitles being right, to being, uh, getting accolades. I mean, to pick up the Satreshki at Venice. I mean, I mean to be That's in huge. competition in Venice, it's just... There are just too many things and to have such a commanding director with you. Chaitanya, Vivek, Tanaji, first of all, many congratulations. Your film, The Disciple, has just embarked on this stellar festival journey. The Presky Award, Best Screenplay Award in Venice. Amazing screenings at the Toronto Film Festival. Going onward to the New York Film Festival. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. You know, I was telling Chaitanya that uh, The Disciple and its journey is one of the few bright spots in an otherwise very, very troubled uh, larger world, but specifically the world of entertainment. So thank you. Thank you for giving us like something to cheer about. Oh, um, I know. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. And uh, it, it's great. It's great the kind of support uh, the film has been getting and we've been getting messages from the fraternity and the uh, it's just it's really nice it's uh, you're very grateful you know it's been a tricky year you know um, the three of you uh, just recently went to uh, the venice film festival for 120 hours specifically um, you walked the red carpet wearing i think kanali was it was it kanali <laughs> oh, it's a mixture it's a mixture it was yeah. a bunch of it was a bunch of things, but this all thanks to Vivek. Yes, I mean, there was one Hugo Boss, there was one Kanali, but there were a lot of other uh, things, yes, thrown but into then, the mix. Then you did something that the rest of us have been yearning to do for more than six months now, which is you sat in a cinema theater and you watched your film on a big screen with people you didn't know. What was that like? Uh, emotional for me. It was very emotional. Um, yeah, it, it was just, it was surreal, it was emotional, and like an impossible dream, you know, you don't know it's going to happen. It's just, the whole year has been like this, so even until it happened and just sitting through it and seeing the end credits and just experiencing that, it was uh, just very grateful for it. Very, very grateful. For you, Chaitanya? Well, it's a, it's a complicated answer for me because uh, the thing is, I don't have the courage to watch my own work on the big screen. So I was staring at the floor, which is like, I don't ever go for screenings. I think even for court, I attended one mommy screening where I was staring at the floor throughout and one screening in Venice where I was post for the world premiere. It was something similar. So it was very emotional and meant a lot at the same time. Yeah, I didn't watch the film. I was very yeah. restless. And it I was, was very distracting for others around him, but I've yeah, become I was used to it now. really uneasy and, um, yeah, I, I went through many emotions in my head where every time I looked at the screen, I was like, I could do so much better <laughs> next time. Anyway, so that's a different story. But yes, it was it was quite special and quite, quite surreal to, to watch the film when the lights go down and, you know, you realize that there are people around you and you're in a like a thousand seater cinema hall and your baby is coming out to the world, you know. Tanaji, what was it like for you to be sitting next to two men, one who's looking at the floor and one who's looking at the screen? <laughs> uh, I mean, it was. It was just so special and emotional and, you know, full of goosebumps. And I think I told Chaitanya after the screening that it took me at least like 20 minutes into the film to actually realize that this is actually happening. And, you know, uh, everything is working fine. You know, all the subtitles and everything. And uh, so... And then I could like really, and you know, could really get into it. It was, it's a moment I'll never forget. You know, it's truly, truly special. The the 
the subject of the film hindustani classical music is is uh, it's a very rarefied world it's a very insular world i mean for most indians as well uh, it's it's not something that you know they're very very familiar with um chetan did you ever worry about how it would play to a western audience uh, i saw an interview in which you described it as western classical music meets jazz uh, did you have to find ways to explain it to people well the thing is uh i don't know if this sounds fake or pretentious or whatever but we have never tried to make films for a western audience or for that matter any audience uh, in particular we believe that the language of cinema is universal and you make the film that you believe in and it will you know translate to others even in the case of code there's so much subtext going on in terms of cast and surnames and you know uh, powada is being sung and so we never thought like okay we should simplify this when you watch the disciple you realize that even a lot of the technical terms related to music or very specific we've not tried to simplify anything we've not tried to spoon feed or do you know very simplistic kind of exposition uh because see here's my question that do you feel like you have to read up on jazz if you're watching a film about a jazz musician do i need to know everything about basketball when i'm watching a film you know Uh, about a basketball player no so and for me it's also part of the fun as uh, when i'm researching as a writer and you know for the experience of the viewer to discover a new world as you go along so for me it's not an obstacle it's more of a thing of discovery and joy in that sense uh you described uh, vivek he uh, chetan described you to me as a mentor friend father uh, you know he he said in the last time we did an interview he yeah. said he wouldn't be here without you there are not many producers who have that relationship with their directors right? Uh, right but but you are also the person putting in money into into these enterprises right you're the one scrambling to to get these funds together so Four years ago, uh, Vivek Kwan Chetan has said that he wanted to make a film about Hindustani classical music. Did your heart sort of skip a beat? Did you ever think that you might want to tell him that you have to do something more massy? Can you think of it? Yeah, I mean, look. First of all, it's very uh, generous and kind of uh, Chetan to use words like mentor and all of that for me. Uh, I do agree with him that we are friends, and I'm very fortunate for that friendship and um, a creative. collaboration you know the fact that we can express uh, what's going on around us and you know sometimes our uh, things our, our, our thoughts match and we're able to kind of you know put that together in our work so that i'm just i understand how lucky i am to have someone like that so um just want to put that there and in terms of our rule or whatever so far has happened is um i'm kind of sometimes aware of what he's thinking about sometimes i'm not and um so when he was doing the research i i knew that he was exploring the world of indian classical music i didn't know where i was at that point in terms of whether i will produce again and what i would do um also the work of the producer doesn't really stop at least the way i've been working because you know after court came out it was as well there was again a couple more years of work and then you're still you know uh, still trying to push the film out there now there's so many other platforms so it feels like it never ends and these things i didn't know before doing court you know so i i realized over time what a long and serious commitment this is and it's not about one film it just it seems like now forever because yeah it just seems forever so you really have to know what and who you're invested with so i i really trust that uh, with chetanya and we've been blessed to have you know almost 12 years now of knowing each other's personalities and 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 uh, characteristics and traits and i think they complement us in our collaboration and what really helps us is that the script is always the most important part of our uh, ventures so when i read the script just like i read court i was really excited um there are uh, you know he has said things like it's a spiritual brother of play we did once so i could see uh, some some of those uh, things as well and and you know the film is set in indian classical music but what it is talking about is so universal and i feel in fact we are in a strange way this this year my uh, age the film in what the film is trying to talk about the pace the the breadth of the film i think it will all be aided especially with what's going on around us so you know all these things put together yeah my heart never skips a beat i just get very excited when 
Chaitanya is ready with the script and I, you know, I say that I'll never do it again and it's just so tempting. And, you know, it's just so tempting and it's such a privilege to read something and to be able to imagine what it is and not be surprised, which is what is rare. Um, so I'm, I'm just very grateful to have him as a friend, a brother, and someone I get to learn and, you know, collaborate with. And now Tanaji as well. So it's, it's been a lot of I great blessings. But you did say, Vivek, in some interview that Chaitanya is a difficult man. So, oh, Tanaji, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need you to come in here. How is Chaitanya a difficult man? Well, I don't know, to be honest. He is a, he is a perfectionist in, 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 you know, in his own way. And what does that mean? Very, give, me, give me an example. On the shoe, very, give very, me an example of Chaitanya's perfectionism. Uh, he is, okay, he is very, very meticulous, not only, it's not only when it comes to like, okay, as a director, what, however he's making the film, but uh, generally say we're going to Venice and, uh, uh, you know, his visa was already there. So we needed like visas for three other people. But uh, literally he would like ask me every single detail of every single document of every single person, uh, even though he knew I was on top of things, but that's how he is. He's, he's really detailed and I, I really appreciate that. It, it helps me also, to be honest. To be on it top pushes of you. He pushes you the right way, you know, and, and he has affection also in the right way. And also in that interview, uh, what I meant was like, you know, when I met him 10, 11 years ago, it was nice to uh, work with someone with such honesty because I was here. This is, I'm talking 2008, nine in the theater scene in Bombay. So, you, you know, just put your mind back to that. So it was just nice to be in a room with a director who was kind of stepping up, doing so much work, who was so young, but so um, articulate in what he wanted, you know, and so committed to his text. And these things resonated with me, even though it might have been harder for me at that moment. But then I got to know him, you know, and I'm sure I was difficult too for him, trying to help you, by. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. No, I would like to add something here, Anu. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> since you've opened this can of worms, uh, but they've been very kind. I mean, I, I feel like they could feel the gun behind their backs. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The, the thing is that uh, we, are very, we are very clear that what we are trying to do might be local in its context. It's not parochial. It's uh, rooted in a specific cultural context, but the standards are international. You know, because we've worked with so many collaborators from outside of India, like we've done so much of a post in Germany, a Polish DP shot the film. And I have always been like, there should never be a point where people feel, oh, we are working with, you know, oh, uh, Indian film industry professionals or, oh, this is the Indian way of doing it. Like there should be absolutely no scope for that. We have to prove ourselves to be not even like at the same level, but even better than where the international standards are. So, and that kind of is also related to the fact as to what you said earlier about Vivek putting his own money. A lot of, you know, Westerners, or for that matter, a lot of people in the art house circuit don't realize how rare and how difficult it is to get a film like this made in the first place when there is no uh, institutional funding, you know. So that pressure is always at the back of your mind where you're not only representing the country with your cinema, but there's also just a lot of money at stake and, uh, you know, things can go wrong very easily. Just, just wanted to say that. No, no, absolutely. And in fact, um you know, I'm going to come to the to the money and the recovery because, uh, uh, you know, you had said big that that uh, you may not produce again if if you don't recover the money from this. Yeah. So, uh, but has this amazing sort of start with the Venice Awards given you hope that there will be recovery, that there will be you know uh, sort of a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? Um. Yes, hundred percent. I mean, look, I'm I'm a dreamer. I like to believe uh, I, we asked the question and we are just beginning to see how the answer will happen. That's how I'm looking at it, you know, um, but I want to put it out there straight from the offset that this is the first step. You know, the fact that we not only had a you know, successful premiere from the DCP working and subtitles being right to being uh, getting accolades. I mean, to pick up the Satreshki at Venice, I mean, I mean, to be That's in huge. competition in Venice, it's just, there are just too many things and to have, such a commanding director with you. And you know, what will be really important, I think is on, uh, on a bigger scale, 
more in terms of symbolism if we invest and we kind of see it all the way through and actually make a recovery. I think that would be amazing, not only for us, it will also encourage everyone around us, behind us, ahead of us to kind of look at a different way of approaching films and to create work like this or work, any work that they want to, you know. And, and that is something that I feel is, you know, I'm very grateful. That's why Chaitanya is so great. He takes it like that as well, you know. And even Tanaji knows what's gone into it. So as a team, we are very lucky that we all believe in that way. And I really hope that we can turn all of this into maybe six, nine months from now, maybe sitting again on FC and talking about, look, this is what happened to the journey. Because, uh, you know, a lot of filmmakers have approached me in the middle uh, and, and other directors and writers. And I keep telling them and they keep telling me, yeah, but you couldn't do this so you couldn't recover i said yeah it's the dark i said okay i keep trying to kind of do what you guys did but it's not possible so i changed this or you know we're like limiting ourselves Chetan, this you know i was just thinking that the the, the sort of struggle of being a, an art house filmmaker in india is not very different from the struggle of being a disciple of hindustani classical mm. music it's a long tough arduous journey uh, did you have a sense of that personal connection as you were scripting this film and making it? Well, of course, you know, uh, like I've always said in my interviews that for me, the process of writing is a marriage of the external stimulus and my own inner world. So yeah, a lot of the themes uh, which I have explored in the film, even if set in the world of Indian classical music are very personal to me. You know, they are my personal nightmares uh, in a way. And my personal uh, explorations and ponderings and, you know, philosophical questions about what matters in life. What are the values that you have to really cherish? And uh, how do you go about it? So, yeah, I would say it is. And you're right that it's not very different from what's happening with cinema right now. And which is also very contextual, right? Like if you ask somebody in France, they might have a very different relationship. Uh, because of, uh, you know, so many other things. Whereas if you ask somebody in India, some might say that it's now, you know, basically over. So I don't know, different people have different relationships with different art forms. But yes, for me, it was it was very personal. Okay, what is the plan for the India release? What can you all share with me? Um, right, Anu. So it's, it's really hard to let anything out of the bag, to be really honest. But um, what I can tell you is that we are trying our best and our um, desire has always been to get the film into the cinemas in India. But of course, with all the conditions right now and everyone's safety, we're being a bit cautious. Um, but there is a lot happening behind the scenes and all these um, accolades and, and, and attention that we are getting, whether it be at Venice and now TIFF, NEF to come, Busan, BFI, these are all aiding us. You know, we have the kind of attention this time that we didn't, never had before with court. Uh, and, you know, we have Mr. Koran involved, you know, we have Endeavor, we have NEFS. So we have a good team guiding us, I feel. Um, I think it's a matter of time. Um, but, um, you know, however long it'll take, we'll just keep fighting. We, we, we are used to that. So it'll happen. It'll happen. Nice. Okay. Lastly, I want to ask all of you that um, a character in the film describes Hindustani classical music as the eternal quest. Um, which is also true of cinema. So what are the three of you seeking next? Anaji, you want to start? <laughs> uh, well, first, first of all, I'm, I must oh, say wow. that I didn't even realize that I was seeking the disciple until it kind of happened and I couldn't be more grateful to the universe, you know. Uh, it was everything about it, these two guys and the world of Indian classical music, all of this is very close to my heart. And um, so in some ways, uh, you know, uh, a big tick has happened to my quest. Uh, and uh, I just don't know, it's just so hard to even imagine the world six months from now, how it's going to change. But, uh, but to do something meaningful, something as exciting, the, the disciple will be hard to talk, but I will try. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, I would like to uh, I would like to focus on being a good human and a happy person and I would like to be better at my craft and you know hopefully I'll get an opportunity to do that uh, 
I would really like, like it as an actor first. As a producer, I think my next five years, seven years life is, uh, you know, connected to, you know, the disciple and court. So I, I have enough work there. I would really like to explore uh, acting. Apart from that, I, it would be a privilege if I would uh, get a chance to be involved in any Chaitanya Tamhane film in any capacity. Um, yeah, I would like to be part of something with him in the future as well. And Chaitanya? <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I guess uh, I don't know if I believe in an eternal quest. I think our quests keep changing as we change as people. So it's a very romantic concept, which I don't know if I believe in myself. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the, 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 the idea would be to continue doing, you know, good work yeah. or more than anything else. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know. We're very, very excited uh, and, and cannot wait to see how the disciple story unravels over the next six months. Thank you all and congratulations again. Thank, thank, you, thank, you, thank you so much. much. Thank, thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much.